Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Um, previous video, I made a wired only printer, the one you see here on the screen, uh, a wireless printer using a, a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, but I got a lot of questions from people who didn't have an Ethernet port on their printer. They only had USB. How to make it happen with that? Well, uh, I thought about it and I thought, uh, I've, I've decided to make a series of videos on how to do that because it's specific to your router. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Netgear router. So this video is Netgear specific. In other words, you need a Netgear router with uh, the ability to share a USB printer. Uh, I think it's called USB Share. Anyways, we'll, we'll look at the software in a second. But regardless, you need a router, a Netgear router with a... Uh, a USB port on it like this one here. This is an R7000 um, But I'm going to be using something called an R6700 on this video, uh, but regardless you can buy a uh, Similar router as the one I'm using right now the 6700 on eBay all day long for under $20. So I'll show you here There's my search for it for this router that we're using in this video uh, And I'll put links for this stuff in the video description below, but regardless I'll be, uh, you can buy one of these for $20 if you don't have one. Uh, it's a decent dual band router. Actually, for under 20 bucks, you really can't beat it. Uh, you know, probably, well, I'll say under 25, okay? Um, again, you can see it here on eBay and uh, all day long, you can buy one of these cheaply. And it's a decent router uh, if you don't have one that has a USB port. Or you could buy a higher end Netgear with a USB port on it that has the ability to do this as well. So what we're gonna do, is take uh, a USB uh, the, uh, printer, mine is both uh, Ethernet and USB, but we're just going to use USB with it. And uh, we're going to connect it to the router and then share it out to the network. And I'll show you how to do that on one computer, okay? So, uh, you know, the caveat here is that the printer needs to be installed and working as a USB printer on the computer you're going to connect to the to print to this thing so in other words uh it, you know before you connect it to the router it has to be connected to your computer all the drivers all the software everything needs to be installed on that computer and it needs to be working perfectly once you've got that working then you can unplug it from the the uh, pc you got it connected to and plug it into uh, the router and have this work as well so every computer that you wish to print to this printer from that you can connect to your router must be first physically configured uh, with the printer connected to it directly uh, for this to work okay so just so you know everybody understands that there's this is a two-step thing first install the printer on the pc you want to print from and all the drivers all the, everything and it works perfect you just print and you can scan and you can do everything you need to do with this printer uh, as you would normally with it connected to your computer with a usb uh, cord then we go through this process and install it okay another thing i noticed too which was a weird thing uh, here's the back of my printer with all, all the ports that it has usb a there uh, sorry b and uh, ethernet and two phone jacks um, here's the weird thing you can connect this USB B connector into the phone jack. You can connect it into the Ethernet jack. And then, you, of course, you can connect it into the USB B uh, port. Uh, make sure you put it into the right one. That's why I'm showing you this because all the other ports, well, A, will not work and they may damage your printer. I did that all, by the way, with the power off and the power cord disconnected. I didn't want to short anything out. And uh, one more thing, too, is that USB. Uh, uh, B is keyed so it will only fit in that port one way so you know if it doesn't fit one way just turn it 90 and uh, try again turn it 90 try again turn it 90 and try again and you know by that time you should be able to find which way it goes or just look at it and, and fit the two pieces together you will see this icon on your printer and on my printer cord as well uh, which is the USB icon. So make sure you put it in there. So that that's my warning to you It's a strange thing that they made a connector that can go in and actually physically fit into all those ports And that's a printer cable, right? So yeah weird engineering, but uh, regardless that's that so we're gonna do this uh, first of all and uh, What we need to do to do that is we need to go get some software from Netgear and just to show you here uh, I've got my HP uh, printer all connected 
you know, it, it's physically connected to this computer currently. Uh, we're going to disconnect it here. So there it is, right? Ready to go. So uh, let's go to HP uh, or let's do a search for the, sorry, let's go to a search for Netgear. Uh, Netgear, um, going to be, let's go USB. Just do a, a Google search for this uh, USB printer software. There we go. And you'll get it. There it is. Ready share USB product support neck gear, right? Now again, remember you need a neck gear router here that supports this, okay? The 6700 does uh, check yours to see whether it does or does not. So, we're going to ready share USB printer, convert convert your USB printer into a network printer. That's exactly what we're doing. And once it's connected to the router, you can, can you can print to it through ethernet using an ethernet uh, cord connected to your router or connecting to your router, router through Wi-Fi, which is how we're connected right now. Um, let me show you that down here, neck gear connected. So that's perfect. So let's go down here. Uh, let's uh, click on downloads. We're going to download this installation or this uh, file. It says ready share printer version. Now you can do this with a Mac, but I don't have a Mac to do this with, so I really can't show you how to do that. It's probably the same procedure, download, install the stuff, and then, you know, connect the printer. Uh, anyways, let's download this. And by the way, you can get USB uh, printer cables that are up to 50 feet long, so that's pretty cool that way. You can actually move it around that way, but it does still have to be physically connected to your router. Um, with my Ethernet uh, solution for this, uh, and I'll put a card for that up there, it doesn't have to be physically connected to the router, which is a big plus because you can move it anywhere in the house, right? The printer anywhere in the house. As long as it's got Wi-Fi access, it can print or be printed from. Uh, okay, there we go. And another thing too, if you wanted to buy, if you don't have a USB printer, uh, sorry, uh, router, and you wanted to, to have that functionality but keep your current router you can always connect this as the second router and i'll put a card, card up here showing you how to connect two routers together that's a really good video i have popular too okay so we've got the file let's click on open file here and this is a zip file which means it's compressed so we want to uncompress it so here we're going to click on uh, extract and then it gives us this uh, view we're going to choose extract all and it's in my download directory, as you can see, right? So extract. That's it. Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff or minimize it out of the way so we can see this. Now, it's very important that you do this correctly uh, because really with USB stuff, it seems like you only get one shot at it, okay? So, you know, again, make sure your printer's locally connected and working perfectly. So. Uh, that, here we're going to click on Ready Share Printer Setup 1.6. Just double click on that. And we're going to say yes, of course. Minimize that. Go through the defaults on this stuff. And uh, you may or may not get a, uh, a firewall warning on this, but doesn't matter. Just say yes to it if you do get that. Okay, next. Accept the terms, of course. Next. Next install it's a very straightforward quick install you'll see this here and again you got to make sure you're connected to the router that this is going to go with for it to work so it's a neck gear so i am yeah there we go and then it says launch neck gear usb control center right now i'm going to launch it and say okay here which is you know part there we go it's of the uh, installation here under tools you see configuration you click on this um, you want it to automatically execute when logging on windows because that way once you get this printer connected to the router it will always connect to the router every time you reboot windows so here we're going to say okay and you can see there's nothing in here yet because we don't have the um, uh, usb printer connected so next thing you need to do is shut down your computer Disconnect your USB connection from the printer, and then we're going to plug that into the router and reboot. Uh, actually, we're going to reboot the computer and plug the USB printer into the router. So I'll show you that next. All right, we've got uh, rebooted here. I've got the USB cable in my hand. 
go into the printer printer is on router is on uh, let's open up the netgear thing and it is saying 6700 and we are connected here through wi-fi only to the 6700 so we're just going to plug this cable in the front of the uh, router in its usb port and instantly look at that mfp hewlett packard hp laser jet uh, m 426 FDN that is exactly the printer I got available isn't that nice so uh, let's try the trigger scanner see what happens here I think I yeah there we go scanner program okay that's cool let's see uh, let's scan a test break see what happens go and we are not scanning from the flat document feeder scan sure and if yeah there we go scanning it in so the scanner works wirelessly through uh, the USB port on the router perfect close Let's go take a look at that uh, under pictures it said so pictures there it is there we are a little off but I see you get it it scans so let's try a uh, test print here so go here to settings devices printers and scanners there we go driver error I'm not worried about that here we're gonna hit manage and you can see here that I have both of them here, the scanner and the HP. So let's print the test page. Instantly prints the test page. There we go. Test page printed out. So that's how you connect a uh, USB printer to uh, a router or to a Netgear router to make it... Uh, a network uh, printer and Wi-Fi capable as well. Uh, not quite as a sweet a solution as the Ethernet um, uh, extender uh, solution I had for you, but it will take a USB only printer and allow you to connect it to your router, which means at that point, and you know anybody who, uh, who has a, a computer that's been configured for this printer on your router will be able to print for it from it doing exactly what I just showed now uh, one more thing too if at first you don't get this program to connect to the router uh, just reboot a couple times uh, and I, I noticed that once in a while on, on my laptop I had to reboot a few times before this Netgear USB control center saw the router and the printer but this in this PC here this tower it went right in no problem so as you can see there it is ready to print on USB through the network so that's that's my solution for that for people with USB now lots of other manufacturers TP-Link, Linksys and I believe in a Asus and, and, and probably D-Link as well have this feature available but the installation is different for every one of them um, so I'll be doing one on the Linksys uh, I've, I've tested it and it works and I'll be doing one on uh, a TP-Link as well I haven't tested that yet but I'm sure it does work as well and uh, you know and if I can find some other manufacturers like an Asus uh, uh, router that has this uh, functionality I may do that as well uh, okay so that's it for my video if this video helped you out in some way and uh, you liked it give me a big thumbs up at the bottom uh, a corner or at the bottom of this video somewhere give me a, a like uh, that helps my channel helps my video and helps me here on YouTube uh, also if you like my content and uh, wish to see more please uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon as part of the process of, of subscribing you'll get that option and that bell icon is a notification bell and if you click that every time I put up a new video you will be notified uh, that I have and then you can watch it at your own leisure uh, again video description I'll have all the links for this hardware uh, and the software hopefully uh, if I can get it in the video description 
uh, as well. Those are affiliate links. And, uh, you know, if you're going to buy this stuff, like a Netgear router or whatever, uh, please use those as it helps my channel and it helps me here on YouTube to keep this content coming. And it doesn't cost you any more than going directly to eBay or Amazon to get it for yourself. Okay. So do me a favor, do that, help me out a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, again, help me to keep going here on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, that, that 6,700, great, great, uh, router. I may do a video on under $30 dual band routers. Uh, the 67 is one of my favorites. So is the T so is the, uh, R7000, uh, and a few others, but regardless, again, uh, comments section below this video put your comments suggestions definitely suggestions because this is an another uh, video that was uh you know basically uh prompted by a question from somebody how do you do this with usb and uh, i appreciate that uh you know you know and uh, hopefully this solves the problem for them as well but regardless comment section below Put your questions, put your comments, uh, you know, anything, suggestions, anything you want to say to me, put them in there. I respond to them regularly uh, and I look at them all the time. So I really appreciate that stuff. All right. So once again, like always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and uh, supporting my efforts here on YouTube. Stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you on the next video.